Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have the Five of Cups and the Six of Wands. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Taurus. We have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. We have the Three of Cups, and we have the Three of Swords. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Taurus. We've got the Two of Swords, and we have the Moon, Cancer, Piscean, Energy. We have the Six of Swords in the Reverse, and the Star, Aquarian, Energy. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean, Energy, and we have the Three of Wands. Taurus, I can't wait till this phase is over and we start getting some positive readings for you. We have... Um, Gemini energy, the lover's card under the deck. So Taurus, what I'm feeling here is, <sighs> I feel like someone here, as much as they, as much as it hurt them, they had to cut something out of their life because you had to maintain your self-respect. You had to maintain your ego and your pride. And you had to cut something out of your life because with the moon card, um, there's a there's an energy of even though I love this person, I can't show it because I have to put my pride first. I have to put my self-respect first. Um, you know, this person's mistreating me and I have to, you know what I'm saying? I have to love myself enough to let this go, which is good. That's healthy, right? Problem is, you're like, nope, can't do it. Gotta call them. <laughs> like immediately, right, right after. You're just like, nope, I don't want to go. You know, the, the six of swords in the reverse. Never mind. It's like, a, I'm kind of getting, have you, has anyone ever seen those hermit memes on Facebook where he's going one direction and then he comes right back? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like someone walks out. They're like, that's it. I, you know, I'm not dealing with this crap, right? And then they leave and then they come right back. Okay. Um, so it's, you know, the communication is coming in. So Taurus, this could be you, this could be your person. Um, so someone is, is, is coming back. They're like, nope, this person's my wish fulfillment. They're everything that I want. I'm going to go back. I'm going to, I'm going to fix this. Okay. The problem here is the problem here is we've got one of two things here. By the time someone goes back, they're already in another relationship. And like someone maybe sends a message and gets nothing back because someone has moved on to someone new. Okay. Or someone goes back and it's the same bullshit where someone here keeps secrets and has third party energies. Either someone here maybe has a drinking habit and they keep sneaking drinks on the side or someone here parties on the side or someone here you know keeps third party energies three of cups three of swords three of wands and the high priestess there's still going to be nothing's going to change so there's still going to be this energy if you're dealing with someone that leaves the house and you have no idea where they're going and you know they go to meet third party energies the lover's card someone here with the lover's card and the five of swords um maybe this you're dealing with someone here that likes to start fights so they can go off and be with someone else or they can go party, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's going to change, okay? So I feel here that as soon as, you know what I'm saying, as soon as, and I don't feel, I want to make it clear, the person that's walking away because they're like, I'm not dealing with this. You got me, you got me confused. If you think that you're going to put me in third parties or cheat on me, blah, 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 someone here leaves, but then comes right back. They don't even get chased. I feel like this person doesn't even get chased. They're just, I'm back. That's it. What are you doing today? <laughs> Where are you? I want to go eat something. You know what I'm saying? Like someone just comes in with communication. So it's like someone leaves and then comes right back. They leave and then come right back and nothing changes because they're not holding their ground. They're not maintaining that level of self-respect because someone here maybe knows that if they keep their foot down and if they hold their ground, they're going to lose this person because they don't really even have this person in the first place. 
Okay, this person is doing something very deceptive by keeping secrets, keeping a mystery, keeping third parties. The three of wands, you're just going to sit there waiting, 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 waiting for this person to do right by you. Or, you know, I don't know, Taurus, it could be vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Okay, so let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus. Tell me about the five of cups. Six of swords. Yes, yeah, someone here, they're heartbroken, heartbroken disappointment, sorrow, I have to leave. The six of swords is in the upright and then the six of swords is in the reverse. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. I have to leave this person because with the king of wands in reverse, Leo Sagittarius energy, this person is a playa. This person, you know, needs a lot of attention. They live in the ego. Um, this is somebody that, you know, definitely cheats. The king of wands is definitely a cheater. Uh, I, I feel like you have to cut this out of your life. This is someone who, you know, needs attention from everyone. You're dealing with an attention more. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Unknown card. Um, someone's like, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if this person going to chase me or not. I don't know, but I have to maintain my self-respect and my pride and I need to walk away. Tell me about the Moon card. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Um, I feel like someone's in this energy of, you know, someone is leaving to be chased. Like someone is, is creating the illusion that they are leaving in order for, it's kind of like a form of emotional manipulation. Someone here likes to create the illusion that they are leaving to get someone to chase, but they are not being chased. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups in the reverse. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I feel like this person is not being being chased because this person they're not coming back to reconcile no one is coming in to reconcile so this person comes back in with communication tell me about the six of swords yeah see there's one for taurus energy there's one person here that's crazy committed someone here that keeps threatening to leave saying i'm gonna go um but when this person leaves when this person leaves there is no offer of reconciliation they just come back on their own nine of wands in the reverse okay you see four of swords in the reverse there is no healing here this person just ends up giving up and giving in because even though with the three of swords they're in a third party or they're being betrayed or their heart is broken with the star card their aquarian energy this person is still their wish fulfillment do you understand what i'm saying which in my opinion if you're in a relationship this is even worse don't do this because it's even worse if you are with someone that makes you unhappy and you keep saying that you're going to leave and you leave and come back without them even chasing you, this person will lose all respect for you. And I mean all respect for you. Okay. And I'm not saying, listen, you can leave and you could be dealing with someone that chases you over and over and over again. Okay. And, you know, eventually the day will come where you will leave altogether. But I mean, at least with that aspect, you're holding your ground and that person is chasing. There's nothing worse than when you keep walking out the door saying that you're going to leave and then you're not even being chased or pursued. And then you just come back on your own. This person has no reason to want to change whatsoever. So Taurus, this person can be you or that could be your person. I don't know. Tell me about the three of cups. And that is the reason why we are not seeing any change change here ace of pentacles in the chariot cancerian energy so you see it's like someone's like okay this time it's going to work uh, this is the right decision for me i'm going to go in i'm going to run it reconcile i'm going to have this new beginning but it's like someone's a one-man band there's only you know what i'm saying it's just someone's in this connection by themselves and then boom they get their heart hurt again because the other person's not saying well come back and i'll try to make it right that person's not saying that tell me about the three of swords the hermit in the reverse you see this person's not going to sit still they're not going to withdraw from third party energies they're not going to stay in the cave with you stay home with you they're not going to withdraw from from hurting your heart they're, they're not going to do that three of wands and the three of wands and the two of pentacles this person is still looking for people to juggle in secret do you see what i'm saying knight of swords this person is still on the prowl they're still on the prowl tell me about the high priestess Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. And you know this. Someone here knows. They are fully aware that this person keeps secrets. But with the Seven of Wands, they're going to keep trying to block this person from leaving the house or block this person. Like... You know, it's kind of like that energy of, oh, I want you that per that I want that person off your Instagram, or no, I don't want you to go out tonight, or no, you know, someone here keeps thinking that they can block someone from a third party or from keeping secrets, trying to control the situation. It's never gonna work. 
Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's never going to work. Three of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. This person is constantly Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, looking for for new people to talk to. They may tell you, oh, but she's just a friend. He's just a friend, you know. Um, but meanwhile, they're looking for third party energies. Okay, you're dealing with someone that just is non-committal, and you're you're trying to force something, or they are trying to force something that is just not coming together. Okay. So, I mean, you can continue to live in this energy or you could accept the truth for what it is. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus. So we've got a fiery climax approaches. Luck is on your side and your dreams need a practical plan. So communication is key. If you're not hearing this person say that they're going to change and try to do right by you and it's not followed with action, it's never going to happen. I feel like a fiery climax approaches. You get mad. You stand, storm out of the house. Okay. Luck is on your side. You're like, you know what? I'm going to go back because I know they love me and I'm not giving up my spot. And why should I let other people have them? And whatever you, you know, convince yourself of doing, or this could be them. I don't know. Okay. But see, your dreams need a practical plan. If your dream is to have a good connection with this person where there's equal give and take, mutual respect and commitment, you have to be practical here is this person offering that to you is this person putting the work into the connection are they taking your feelings into consideration because i'm not seeing it you know so you have to you have to be practical here clarity guidance and love messages seek contract there's no equal give and take there's no equal give and take here woman holding a coin there's one person that is committed and that's it okay yin and yang this could be a strong soul tie connection yeah i i feel like someone here I feel like this is a this could be a karmic because we've got someone here that's very jealous, very envious. Uh, someone doesn't want to let go. This may be a soulmate connection that is meant to teach a lesson and be released. And someone here doesn't want to let it go. They don't want this to end. The world card. When someone here thinks of losing this person and this person going off to be with someone else, they get very jealous. Very yeah. See, they're in their head. They get very jealous. Very you know. It's like, it's kind of like this connection isn't good for me, but I don't want to leave and I don't want them to go off and be with someone else and treat someone else better than me. It's like, you know, it's bad energy. You know, the bottom line here is that doesn't happen. I, I want to make it clear. When someone mistreats you, when someone mistreats you, they're not going to go into another relationship and treat that person better. Okay. The characteristics are still the same. The only way that will happen is if this person ascends spiritually, which if they do, then all the better. You should be wishing that for that person, right? But the, someone here is jealous. They're in this energy of, I don't want this person to treat me like crap and then go be with someone else and treat her better or treat him better. That shit's booty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to get, you know, so, but that's a negative energy because you're just keeping yourself in a relationship where you're unhappy. So I feel like, see, someone here is very committed to this connection with the queen of, of coin there, but there's no equal give and take. And, and with the sixth chakra here, someone's intuition is telling them, you know, the, it's like your intuition knows, like if you, if you awaken and listen to your higher self, you'll know that this person is not, they're not they're not, um, this person maybe spends a lot of time with friends or they call the people that they cheat with friends. She's just a friend. He's just a friend. But if you're not listening to your higher self, I mean, it's like your spirit guides are trying to tell you we've got happy success and we've got new beginnings. Um, I feel like someone here is going to eventually what's going to happen here is someone is eventually going to go out with one of these quote unquote friends. And I feel like they're going to end up starting a new beginning with someone with or without your approval. So I feel like what's going to end up happening here is you could keep banging your head going back and forth with this person, but eventually if they, they keep cheating like this or they keep pursuing friends, okay, friends, <laughs> you know, they're eventually going to find someone that they get along with better. And everything that you've been fearing about this person leaving, dipping, going off and being happily ever after with someone else is going to come to fruition anyway. Some things you just can't control. You understand some things you just can't control. So I feel like spirit is telling you to just wake up and see the truth about this connection. Spirit, clarity, guidance, and love messages here. Make the effort. Great uh, love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, see, you keep, look at this, you keep, you keep reckon, okay, you keep telling yourself, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make the effort towards something that you should be letting go of, okay? It's just that with passion, you're, you're lusting after somebody here that you should be releasing. Now, guys, for 
For all I know, this could be vice versa. For all I know, this could be vice versa. So take it as it resonates, okay? All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.